All right, what's up guys? We are back again. This is two days after the last video. Um, 25th, February 25th. And we've got another probably six inches of snow. Same amount of snow as last time. However, it did quit snowing earlier. So if you saw the other video, um, if you haven't, links in the description, but if you saw the other video, I said the snow kind of stopped around three, four o'clock. So we had to do an open up to make sure every site was done by seven o'clock and uh, that's required if we have four inches or more before 7 a.m. And this time it stopped snowing around one to two o'clock so we're out early enough we can just go full width on everything. That's what we're doing. Uh, we're not in a huge rush this time so I can get video now. Um, so yeah. I'm running the 6 liter again. We've got one of the newer plows on it. Um, that's usually on the 6.7. And I'm noticing because of the way the front end of the truck sits or something like that, we're not getting as clean of a back drag out of it. So I've been kind of adjusting the shoes accordingly, playing with those. However, I don't really know if that's the issue because I'm not seeing shoe marks in my like back drags. Um, although the snow could just be pulled back over it from the blade. Um, I'm not seeing shoe marks though when I push forward either and when I push forward it's getting a pretty clean cut So I don't know if that's just the snow doing that or something I don't know. Maybe we don't have the height. Maybe the height of the plow rack itself um, On the truck needs to be higher to kind of get a better angle on the plow or something like that So been playing with the shoes a little bit uh, just adjusted them here the third time. So we're gonna see if that helps and uh, Yeah, so We'll show you what we're doing here. We'll kind of... So, I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can see that, but you can see where I just back dragged and I was just walking out there. You can see it's not super clean. Didn't do a very good job, so... We'll take a go at it here and see if it makes a difference with adjusted shoes. All right, so upon further inspection, you can see here that it's not the shoes. Cause look, it's got plenty of slop in it and it's got, I don't know if you can see that, but it does have an up and down play in it. So it can't be the shoes because right now we've got the blade bottomed out before the shoes do. Uh, shoes do, and that goes for the middle one and the other side as well. So I think it's just because the plow rack up here is sitting lower on this truck, and the front end of this truck sits lower than the six seven. So that means the way the plow sits on here is kind of like this instead of like this, where the blade's kind of scraping a little bit more.
stuck like an idiot, huh? Jesus. Smooth move, huh? Yeah, got stuck in my own snow pile I was pushing. That was pretty bright. Wrapping up the parking lot here. Uh, wrapped up the town homes, got that done. You can see it's probably like 30 some now. You can see the parking lot starting to melt quite a bit, uh, which is good. It'll finally clean up. Snow is all pushed back good here. Spent a lot of time up front here pushing back uh, some of the snow as well. So hopefully that'll make a difference for them, give them some more room. But we are out. We are headed back <coughs> to the shop. And, oh, can't have the radio on. I'm copyrighted. But we are headed back to the shop and, oh, want to have drive. And that is it for this time, guys. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more. Um, as always, I reply to all the comments down below, so feel free to leave a comment or ask a question. Love to hear from people. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time.